Is that the location of their command vehicle? It's definitely the source of their transmissions. We'll trash the transmitter and take their weapons. In short, we'll destroy their eyes and ears and steal their teeth. Let's go. What is it with the whole eyes, ears, and teeth metaphor? Why is everything a rabid dog? Whatever. Hello everyone, this is Jenga and Dragon, and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire Rain. Did I change something with my equipment? My voice sounds louder than normal. At least to me. Maybe I need to turn my headset down. Wait. Where's the switch for that? That. Wait. It's pretty loud. Or do I just turn it louder? Fuck that. No. It's good. Let's roll with it. We'll head for a spot where we can visually verify the location of the enemy's transmission source. I see. We've got absolutely no ammunition. Perfect. So, we'll avoid any encounters until we secure some weapons from the opposition's command vehicle. So, where does all the ammo go? That I had ammo. I, I remember that. I had ammo. You see, that's the problem with these things not carrying over. No, you always start with a certain amount of ammo. Like, you assume that I've wasted all the ammo. But I haven't. No, I still had some. So, I've been thinking. That little girl, that creepy girl. I don't know if it's Monique, who I assume is supposed to be Lord Hesler's daughter or something. Or it could be. That's the AIB command vehicle. Yeah. I see some sentries. Well, How do we get down there? There's but, a spot over there that we can probably go down. Yes, but... Right, let's give it a try. Once we're down there, we'll make our way around the enemy's command vehicle. Can I just... I'll go first. Can I just, like, say something? Before immediately getting cut off? I mean, yeah, it's a cutscene, but who really gives a crap about what you have to say? I mean, honestly. To be fair, <laughs> I don't even do... Oh. That's it. Ow. Keep it down, Kelly. You've got a couple of men heading your way. I think they heard that. Looks like Kelly's pinned down for now. You better give her a hand. With what? We have no ammo. It's further. But we go around the inside of the mountain, we might be able to play dead. With what? Let's we have no ammo. Um, um Plus it, they seem like they're right there. Like have they not found her yet? Wait, you're telling me they're guarding the crates that she's hiding behind, and they're not even... Uh, okay, that seems oddly convenient. They're making sure no one else gets to her. As if they don't know she's there, though. Is she one of them? <gasps> it's a trap. Now yeah, they are using her as bait. She was one of them this whole time. Plot twist. I'll stay here and keep an eye on Kelly's situation. I'll follow you as soon as I verify that she's safe. You go on ahead. Uh, that is the most ridiculous objective ever. I mean, you've you, you've come up with some bullshit before, but you verify that she's safe. She looked okay. First of all, she looked pretty damn safe to me. And second of all, what if I'm wrong? What if she isn't safe? What are you gonna do about it? We have no ammo. What are you gonna freaking give a bird call and expect someone to drop a nuke on their ass? I don't think that's what happened, Hank. Jesus. I'm always doing all the work. Hank, like, what? what is your job? Are you supposed to be the leader? Like, I, what do you do? What do you even do? God damn. Anyway, I've been thinking about it. And, um... Ugh, another cutscene already. Oh, wait. Yes, and these are the Eclipse Guard, I assume. Yeah, they've got guns and everything. As if they aren't vampires, they've got the wavy smoke, the gas lines coming off them anyway. Wavy gas lines! You know they're vampires. Anyway. So, there's a... There's a little girl, Monique. Who I assume is supposed to be... Oh, not that way. Not that way. I assume it's supposed to be Lord Hester's daughter. Then there's this other girl, Emily Foley, that 
remember the, um, Professor Oak, or whatever his name is? Uh, it's her. It's his daughter, and she looks pretty much the damn same. So I don't know who that was. I assume the creepy girl. Ah, oh, you've been there. Great, thanks. I assume the creepy girl is the one that, you know, Lloyd saved or failed to save. I never really found out what happened with that. He's gonna go, oh, he's going back and forth. No one here. Shut up, turn around. Anyway, but the question is, what was that mission? What was I supposed to do? They never really told me what I was doing when I was found. As I'm, just, I'm the last survivor of some mission that they don't explain shit about. Was I there specifically for that little girl? Was I saving the professor's daughter? Was I saving Lord Hessler's daughter? Did Lord ha or is Lord Hessler a billionaire? Apparently. So, is this like before he became a vampire? Did he send me on a mission to save his daughter from vampires? Oh, and then, maybe. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Don't mind me! Wait, I didn't fail the mission? Oh, okay. Okay, by, by breaking stealth, I didn't fail the mission, I just made it harder for myself. That's interesting. Wait, but he's still like right there. What, they have snipers? What? I guess they have snipers. That's cool. So I assume I'm coming close up on the end of the game now. I still haven't seen anything about that girl in the chat. You know what? Maybe, um, maybe, okay, if I can be bothered editing this in, I might show a clip of, um, the girl in chain. When I say she, she was in chains, I mean, like, she, she had... You know how, like, you lock people up in the dungeon and then, like, chain to the wall? by their arms and legs. She had like one of those chains on her wrist. I'll follow you as soon as I verify that she's safe. You go on ahead. And like um You know how they have that metal cuff that goes around the leg or the arm? I I don't know what the technical name for it is, but they have used it in a bunch of like cases when people have been locked up or or in like prison, in certain TV shows I've seen like prisoners they have that ball and chain connected to their leg. It's that thing, like that thing, but without the ball. And it was connected to her arm. Actually maybe it had a ball, I don't know, it was going off screen so I couldn't really tell what was on the other end of the chain. But I'm still curious about what the hell that was about. Okay, he does have a sniper. I didn't see that last time. I, mean, I saw it, but I wasn't paying it any attention, so... So either way, there is a UV knife up here. So maybe I don't kill him with it, but I kill someone with it. So I'm just going to grab that. Now, is he going to... I can see his shadow. Look at, that, look at that line. Do you see that line? That's his shadow. I think. That's weird. Okay, so is he going to see me if I... Yeah, he sees me. He sees me. Hey, well, what do I do about that? Run for it? No, and he sees me. Okay, so... Huh. Okay, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I expected. So if I go down... To, oh, yeah, if I go down there, he sees me. So I have to go this way, right? Unless I was supposed to kill that guy up there with the UV knife. I don't think I was. Oh, no, I killed this guy with the UV knife. Okay. Okay, I'm on something. So I had to go up there to grab that UV knife, then I bring it back here, kill this guy, and what's that? Oh shit, 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 sniper, don't look at me, don't look at me. I know you're looking this way. Wait, can he not see down here? I don't think he can see down here. That's convenient. I love how they just, like, catch on fire. Oh, he dropped something. Oh yeah, he dropped a gun. And there's a UV knife. Because I still need one of those, I guess. 
Oh wait, this machine gun only has six. He only had six bullets. What's he planning to do with six bullets? <laughs> what the hell? I bet if I pissed him off and he actually started shooting at me, he would have had a lot more than six bullets. Do I go down this way or? I don't know if this one's supposed to be going or not, but it's definitely the more interesting choice. I mean, look at that, it's got weird stone formations and shit. This ought to be fun. I didn't jump. Oh, that's one of them. For a second, I thought that was me. It looks like me. Except with the wavy lines and shit. So what, did he jump down from here? Wait, where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from? Oh, hi! Oh. Well, I. Oh. Can I climb up here then? Oh, is I supposed to climb on top of this? Oh, no. No, I don't need the boxes. I can just climb up anyway. Because I was wondering if I kind of screwed myself over by breaking these boxes. But no, it's always a good idea to break the boxes. Screw the boxes. The boxes never help you. In fact, they're secretly plotting against you. Wait, was this. Have I been here already? I don't know, all this looks the same. It's all the same. Stop moving. Stop. Why do you stop walking and start walking immediately? There, good enough. Did you have a go? I said, I probably could have just snuck around him. I probably wasted my UV knife, didn't I? Oh, he didn't even drop his gun. He didn't even drop his gun. Oh. That was a waste. Ah, well, this is int- Oh, that's where I went under before, so if I- Okay. Okay! It says there's a thingy on my map. Oh, it's up there. Can I climb up there? Look at this, look at this. I can definitely reach up there. What do you mean I can't climb up? And no, that's not a trick of perspective. See? I can easily climb up there. See? Look, look how, look how high I can jump. Psh, stupid game. Okay, have I already been here before? Or? Wait, ooh. It's probably not anything useful, I just want to know what it is for curiosity's sake. Now, it's probably going to be another UV knife, but uh, still, you know. I wasted one to be fair, so. It'd be nice if I could have another one. Yeah, it's UV knife. Okay. All right. So why why do we need these weapons again? Like we don't have any plan of attack. Let's see that Charles douchebag and Lord Hessler. Are you, are they going to? Oh, if I break this box, he's gonna see me, isn't he? Oh, and that's not the same guy that the other guy was watching, so I'm just going to steer clear of that altogether. Ooh, gas station. That looks fun. So is Lord Hessler and Charles, are they just going to find me, or what? Because Lord Hessler was saying, oh, haven't we lost enough, blah blah blah, so clearly he was going, he was going against that idea. So, I mean, what's going to happen? We're in a stalemate. I don't, I don't know how to find them, and they don't want to find us. So... We're just like, so really we don't know what to do right now, we're just finding weapons for the sake of it. Because whatever happens, we're probably going to need weapons. What, Hank? Kelly here. I've got some good news. See that container over there? That's where they oh, have yay. weapons stored. Oh. That's the best news I've had today. Are those rocket launchers? Let's help ourselves to their supplies. Probably not. Oh, but I would love to have... 
You've been neglecting me, my bazooka, this whole game. I demand a rocket launcher. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna follow you. Oh well, that was easy. Now we've got a fighting chance. <laughs> Lloyd, take this ammo. Take this ammo, and Kelly. Can I shoot my way there? As soon as she's ready, we'll hit him with everything we've got. Why can't we just do that now? I'll stand by at the attack point until you're Why do I need her? I can take them all on myself. Let's please. I will. Captain, you don't deserve your rank. So is there like just snipers there, or would we get ammo for other stuff too? I mean, snipers are good, but I'd like to have a little bit of variety if that's all right with you. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, he gave me an SMG. I never got to use the SMG and have it kill someone before. Against these guys, it actually might work. So this will be fun. So yeah, if you want, want to see me kill someone with the SMG, tune in for the next part. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Nosferdanya.